We play and call it work. Welcome, everybody. We're just in our pregame right now. So we're going to get started at 1 o'clock Eastern time, which is in about eight minutes. We're just going to do our last sound checks and stuff. Make sure everything is good before we really go into this. But welcome. Welcome to our live stream. Our right, second episode. My name is Bud. I'm having a hard time talking right now because I'm hearing the... I'm actually listening to the live stream right now, which is a few seconds. Free stream has just stopped working. It just crashed as soon as I tried to use it. Put it up again. Oh, is that your technical expertise? <laughs> turn it off and turn it back Try on again. again. Try well, again. It turned itself off, so it skips one step. It turns itself off. <laughs> okay, there we go. That worked this Beep time. Beep boop. Beep boop. We need yeah. that word I, I am the best tech guy oh, ever. It's like, it's like turn it off, off my computer. Are, all the, cor- are all the cl- cords plugged in? This is me. Uh, yes. Turn it off. I turn it back on. Oh, it didn't work? Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Like the okay, so let, let's let's see some in. chat. Let's see some chat to test this, especially if you're on Twitch. <laughs> wow, that's loud. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's good. Very loud. How do we all sound? And yeah, I, I think the volume should be louder this time than it was last time. So people, Dutch Lion, ask. Okay, you know what? I got to turn off the audio. <laughs> I cannot. You get the speech listen. blocker thing going on. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty funny actually. Yeah, I can't talk. <laughs> Boom. Okay. okay, there we go. Couldn't tell a story. Yeah, remember how I wanted M and M's last Beep time? Boop. Yeah. So Dutch Line said, "Wait, is this show free? <laughs> it's, it's, it's the live stream part is free. It's been a week. Why don't you bring and it the recording will be in the mini wargaming vault. Um, but we are going to put out like the first half hour for free because that has like the recap of last week and all that. So sounds good on Twitch. Good, good. We're getting Twitch comments. Um. Dave, Dave Rockefeller, 21, quirks rolling for his tech skills in real life, I guess. You sound fine and not like robots, says them at know. drinks. Beep, boop. <laughs> so, okay, so we've got six minutes before we start. Check. So we can uh, we're gonna just open minutes. this up. This is what, basically, we're, we want to do a little bit of interaction with you guys before the show and after the show and also during our break. So this is the time where we actually are going to read comments. Um, if you want a super chat, donate, that's great. We'll greatly appreciate it. It's not required to... To, to do that, though. although we will always answer the comments that are super chatted just because we feel that we should. Vault for the win, says James. That's right. Right, everybody? We yeah. like the vault. We, we, we yes, always, we do. always. Luke, did you drop your pen? Yeah, so It provides 90% of their pay. Drop so Wait, what? The vault provides oh. 90% of your pay. I heard something completely So you, you get paid. Word. What would you hear that provides 90% of their pay? How can I turn that to something that's inappropriate? I don't know. What, what, what filter went on in here? Why, why is it always if something gets it's changed? Anthony B, have you figured out how to monetize this? Well, we're, gonna, we're just experimenting. Right now, It's um, you have to be a vault member to watch it after the live show, so we're hoping people will sign up for the vault for that. Uh, we do still have the giveaway going on right now. If you go to miniwargaming.com slash giveaway, then if you're not a vault member, you can try the vault out for free for seven days. And if you use the link miniwargaming.com slash giveaway, then it'll actually give you access to the whole Dark Heresy show, even if you cancel your vault membership. Those are your guys. Oh, so when notes. is Lucas sit and talk? That was this morning. So the recording will be posted. That was the last live sit and talk, by the way. We're going to go back to doing them like before. Sorry. Just, <laughs> yeah, because Quirk can't get the live stuff working. No, actually, it's more just based on feedback that uh, people just, so it leaves out a lot of people being able to ask questions, and I agree with that. Dave Rockefeller asks, any chance we'll see the blue collar characters again one day? We'd love to see, I don't know, after, I guess you, you may not have seen the bonus episode. <laughs> Because very few people saw it because it was for backers only. Uh. But the bonus episode <laughs> was amazing. Was amazing, but it kind of made you realize you probably never see most of those characters again. Um, that's all I'm going to say because anybody who hasn't seen the bonus episode who's paid for it, it was for backers only that had done like the $75 level or higher. It basically went, Luca GM'd it, and it was five years after the events of Blue Collar Heresy. So it was a bit of an epilogue of sorts. It was really cool. It was fun. Um, but I don't know if you'll see those characters again. But you could fill in those five years. Yeah, true. true. Yeah, I don't know. And because they'll probably die if we try completely to completely ruin the canon exactly. that's made. <laughs> <laughs> it's like doing uh, Horus Heresy battle reports, but like, oh, oh, oh my Primarch died. Oh, okay, that I happened. No, guess the heresy's over. I guess the heresy's <laughs> over. <laughs> didn't die. He's got a big boo boo. Yeah. Paul's variety pack. Oh, how long has this been going on? About three minutes. This is second episode. The first episode of Dark Heresy Shadows Beneath is put up, is actually on YouTube for free as a as a preview. So you can go check that out. It's like three and a half hours long. Um, so to, going back to the monetizing thing. So we're, we're, this one we're experimenting. We're, we're seeing if we'll get enough vault members to have made it worthwhile. Because this is actually really expensive to produce. Um, but we might experiment with other things. Like 
I don't know. The, some ideas that come to mind would be doing a, kind of a Kickstarter for every single series that we do. And if we can raise roughly $20,000 is what we'd have to raise, um, which is, I guess, more like sixteen or 17000 US. We need about 20000 Canadian to make these shows worthwhile. Then we can put it out for free on YouTube. So basically, the Kickstarters would allow us to put it out for free on YouTube. So if we can if we can do that each time, which would be like once every two or three months, I don't like that idea though very much. I don't like the idea of doing regular Kickstarters. But Cool Mini or Not does it with all their games. But it is a different kind of thing though. It's like miniatures. What do you guys think? How should we monetize this? Ooh. Ooh. I, I'll be honest. Oh, I'm did, only... I ask, did I just ask a business question to all the? I know you know what. I'll be honest. I was only thinking about M and M's. <laughs> we were kind of having a separate conversation. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were paying attention. We're talking about how to monetize in this kind of show. We got two minutes left, by the way, before we start. No, monetize this. No one's emailing. I, I think anything, the, so. the, the Kickstarter idea. I mean, you know, having because it's, it's kind of like how um, what's that? Will Wheaton one? Tabletop. They yeah. did a Kickstarter for one of their seasons. Yeah, you know, what I mean, they got just, funding for the first couple seasons from Google, and yeah. then once they stopped doing that funding, they did an Indiegogo campaign and raised the money. And then he didn't do the funding again for the next season or the season five. So I don't sure where he's getting the funding for that because. Yeah. Seeing how many views they get, I know the YouTube, even just applying a generous YouTube revenue to that, it wouldn't cover hardly any yeah. cost. Because their shows are even more expensive. Because I, 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 I backed that Indiegogo campaign that they had because they had it behind the scenes and I wanted to see how they made it. And they have eight cameras mm. plus two mirrors to make it more like 10 cameras. Mm. So the camera can actually look at the mirror and get a different shot. Mm. And each of those cameras, or at least, there's, there's, I'm not sure if it's one person per camera, but there's going to be several camera people, they have a person whose job it is is to dump the footage. And that's his full-time job. It's to dump the footage from all the cameras and organize the footage. So he doesn't just dump it on the computer. He yeah. actually goes through and organizes it all. And then there's a separate one or two people who do all the editing. And it can take them upwards. I think it was something like 50 to 70 hours to, to edit one yeah. show. So you, you, just, you just look at the cost of that editor. Like, you give them a like, minimum wage... Which that stuff, I doubt that's what he's making. And no. you add in all the cameramen, forgetting, like I'm guessing the guest stars probably don't get paid, but they might pay for their flights and accommodations for all we know. Yeah. Um, Will Wheaton is one of the producers, so he gets paid, I'm assuming. But that show is very expensive to produce, so I'm not even sure exactly what their business model is. I know yeah. that they were bought out eventually by Nerdist, and they have their alpha program, which is like the vault where you pay for content. So maybe that was the business model, just build it up and get bought out. Maybe that should be our business model. Just do everything for free and hope that Games Workshop buys us one day. <laughs> what do you think? For this game, then they don't support? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> no, no, but then we prove. We, like, prove to them. Because we're going to do, we're probably going to do their new ones that have come out as well. Because we yes. really want to. The fantasy and the... Uh, yeah, one we're not thinking about selling. Yeah, we're going to sell. <laughs> twenty bucks. So if you're, if you're, twenty bucks. We'll, we'll have we'll have an auction. Let them bidding me in. We'll, we'll put it on eBay. We'll put it on eBay. I I, th <laughs> I think though for like as far as like seeing if this show if this show is profitable, the Kickstarter thing is probably the best way to go. You guys don't. You can just start another company. Kickstarter, yeah, the Kickstarter could be interesting. The problem with that is I don't mind doing a Kickstarter, but if we're gonna do like let's say one season runs for a couple months, like eight episodes, yeah. let's say. And then you wait a couple weeks and you start another season. That means you're doing a Kickstarter like every two and a half months. And that yeah. seems like a little much. Yeah. Like, uh, even Cool Me or Not, who's constantly putting out new games, they do like four Kickstarters a year. And each Kickstarter is like a big deal with its own <coughs> game and its own yeah. miniatures. So it kind of makes sense. You just build the Maybe. audience and let uh, Twitch eventually pay. Well, we, we, can, we can start the Twitch pass. thing, but that's still the same idea where you have to pay in order to be able to watch the recording. So no, I mean like donations throughout the, throughout the stream. If there's donations, that's fine. But we're talking we need like $1,500 of donations every episode. The big enough uh, audience is possible. Yeah, that's true. That's true. How long does it take to get there, though? More enough that's, that's, yeah. um, more live Sorry, I haven't been reading so. the comments where we've been talking about all this. <laughs> yeah, so we 24-hour stream every day. Yeah, just, yeah, just, yeah, just more streams. Bidding on the company in the well, the 24-hour live stream did pretty well for the sign-up. But I have a funny feeling if we big kept doing those, we wouldn't get the I, I would die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I almost got roped into a 24 uh, The musical call. man said, yeah, this is the time we'll be live every week. We're still on our pregame, so we're about to start. It is a little past 1 o'clock, and we'll start in a minute, too. Take it out of Steve's salary. Yeah. Um, you well, get a salary? Wait, salary. These aren't getting paid? <laughs> <laughs> Sell mini wargaming m and says James. Yes. We could eat them all. I, would. I, I get miniatures on my desk every month. I assume that was my pay. You get paid in miniatures. 
Yeah. <laughs> I, I think it is, but... Make Luca pay $1 for each M&M business model solves. Oh, man. Up. We'd be rich. JK says, will there be any Can actual role playing in this one? No. No. Dude, we're in the pregame. Jeez, sorry. <laughs> we're Maybe he means the, the last role one. play the pregame. Maybe he means the last one. Like we're role playing being good employees. Rellos, well, six, I suggest the E realms. Those are good. We're right. Because there's a look at those. Anyways, I got to shut down the stream. We got to get started. Start me. Yeah. Give me some. So let me just close oh, this. Guess. Everything sounds good. Our sound check <laughs> checks out. Everything looks good over there, Rob. Yeah, everything's good. All right, then in on me. It's all about me. Wow. And I'll be quiet. So we're going to do the intro. Because the rest, all that will be edited, I remember. Hey everybody, Matthew here from MiniWarGaming.com and welcome to episode 2 of Dark Heresy Shadows Beneath, our epic 40k role-playing game show based on Dark Heresy 2nd Edition. I am with everybody, everybody being uh, Aaron, Chris, Luca, and Josh, Quirk, and Steve, our motley cast and crew who are trying to survive in the 41st millennium. This time they're a little better than they were in their uh, blue-collar heresy counterparts. They actually are trained acolytes, so uh, a, a cut above the rest, I guess is what we could say. <coughs> Before we get into everything, uh, a couple things I got to point out. One is we started a giveaway last week for those who are not Vault members If you to, to bribe you to try out the Vault for free for seven days. We have a seven-day free trial. The Mini Wargaming Vault is where we put uh, a lot of our videos, probably about 55 to 60% of our videos are in there, so there's thousands of videos. This role-playing game show is available for free while it's live. And then the first half hour, roughly, will be available for free, where we're going to do a recap of last game, and we're going to talk about the upgrades we took. But after that, the rest of the show's recording is only available in the Mini Wargaming Vault. And that is what allows us to pay for all of this. So if you're willing to give it a shot, miniwargaming.com slash giveaway. It's a limited time. You can go there and sign up for the vault. And if you sign up using that link, then even if you cancel your vault membership, you still get this entire show for free. That's kind of that's our bribe. So try it out for free, for free. And if you don't like it, or you don't want to keep it, or you can't afford it, or whatever other reason you have for not being a vault member, you can still watch this entire show for free. So I'll leave that at that. Now, mind you, if you're watching this a few weeks later, the giveaway's probably gone, but you can still go and sign up to the vault, miniwargaming.com slash vault, and then get access to the show as well as many, many others. Anyways, uh, that was the first piece. I think that was it for announcements, right? I feel like I'm missing something. No? Okay. Then let's do this. Welcome back, everybody. Mm. Heal me. As we did in the Blue Collar <laughs> Heresy. Oh, yeah. Hey, no, no, we're not, in game. we're not in game yet. As we did in Blue Collar Heresy, I'd like to start with a recap, as told by the players. But unlike what kept happening in Blue Collar Heresy, start from the beginning. Because it seemed like every time I asked for a recap, the thing that you'd recap first was the very last thing that happened. Which, yeah. of course, is what you remember most. So I'd like everybody here, I'd, I'd like to see everybody try to contribute, but whoever remembers the most, go through from beginning to end of what happened. What You've got like a few minutes to do so. What was his name, Quirk? The man. You know who I mean. I can't remember his name. Her? No, Her? no, no. Her? No, uh, you, if you're not little, you're oh, left. Oh, Scar Guy? Scar Guy. Is that, is that all we know him as a uh, scar guy? Yeah, I got him as Scarface. Scar guy. <laughs> Scarface. <laughs> he never gave his yeah. name. Yeah. No. Okay, we met Scarface. That's all I that's the only yeah, thing. That that's the only part. That wasn't even a minor part. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't even important. Made his contribution. Yeah. Next. Yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> Next. Start from the beginning. Okay. Uh, one person talk at a time. Scarface. So we, we landed on the planet. Which the, planet? Uh, I, what the heck's the name of the planet? Tyrus. Tyrus. Yeah. And uh, it's a big prison planet, and there's uh, subterranean uh, tunnels that are cave, uh, carved out by these big dew worms or whatever. Um, Tyrusian worms. Tyrusian worms. Tyrus, and Tyrus. we're basically charged with uh, investigating uh, this new type of uh, drug that is... Uh, showing up inside the prisons in these areas that apparently is, um, you know, killing people and the drugs. Yeah, spore, isn't it? It's totally not orcs. Not orcs. Yeah, it's not orcs. It could be orcs. I don't know. I, who knows what it is? I mean, it's... <laughs> who knows? And so the reason why we are on this planet is because possibly there's a Xenos connection to the production of spore or what is spore or what... Um, well, we don't know because that's why we're, we're going in to investigate. And so we uh, started off their adventures, landing onto the planet, meeting up with uh, the warden. We took a nice little train ride into this whole facility, um, into the uh, prison. This and it, like we're talking these 
catacombs are vast, huge openings and tunnels everywhere, and it's a complete labyrinth of of darkness and dew worms and fungus all over the walls and. <laughs> What are, what are they called again? Tyrusian worms. Tyrusian worms. These Tyrusian worms. They're a little worms. scarier than dewworms. Uh, uh, mm-hmm. Dewworms are pretty terrible. Yeah, you know. ever see them on our magnifying glass? Before? Yeah. They're... I don't want to deal with that. Yeah. 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 Anyway. All right. Chris has said a lot, so Did somewhere on this side of the table. Continue the story. Or, or Aaron, you can do it too. I vote Steve. Go. What happened next? So you're here. We know what you're investigating. So what's happened so far? Nice oh, where Steve. did you leave off? Dewworms. Nasty uh, we were, uh, He's took more tra- describing the general. Yeah, like place. we took the train in, and we're uh, on our way to the uh, prison. And all right, so when we got off the train, we discovered a location uh, nearby where the governor lives. Deb, De- executor, Degunya, Degunya. Thank you. I understand my handwriting now. Degunya. <laughs> there we go. Uh, we did go right to the warden's it's, office. It's didn't South get a lot of information. The guy is belligerent, and I don't like him. We're gonna go back and deal with him soon. Which he give the, the, the incompetent warden. 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 What are you kidding? How, what makes you think he's incompetent? He's not, his he's name's Rrrr. Rrr. Rrr. He, he does have a dumb name, but hey, he, he can't figure out where this drug came from. I had Crotwell, but I had call him Rrrr. Wait, why, did, why did, do we uh, all think his name was Rrrr? That's his first name. That's what you got written down. His name is Rrrr. It's Rrrr. Oh, yeah. Warden Rrrr. That's what you've written down. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing. Where did we get that? He's, he's, all of a sudden, it's Warden like, Crockwell. Like, where did we get Rrrr from? It's a very cross new group. It's like nine, <laughs> it, the name's nine letters long, and it's all R's. Sorry. With oh, one H. Group. <laughs> <laughs> one H. <laughs> I missed the joke. <laughs> there was no joke. There was no joke. <laughs> There's one H, Matt. Why aren't you laughing? There's Rrr only one H. H. It's seven hours and one eight. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> what are we doing? Did I retry that name? roll? No, that's what you wrote it. It's a great joke. That's his name. That's what you wrote. He's got seven hours and one eight. His name's Cromwell. Oh, yeah, so it's right, right, right. Oh, okay. What? I love that. Yeah, all right. You repeat it, doesn't make it funnier. Oh. Seven hours, one H, then assigned as Sergeant Tuller Pena to escort us. <laughs> is this a Tuller Pena? Pena. Tuller. Sergeant Tuller. Yeah, Tuller. So yeah. Pena was his last name. Oh. So I said Tuller Pena. Tuller. Not Pena, yeah. just Pena. Pena? Maybe that's why I got offended every time he said his name. <laughs> <laughs> that's why he doesn't like you. His position is zero. All right, keep going. So he assigns you the sergeant. Um, so, well, the sergeant, the first place he took us was to the apothecary. Um, that guy was a quack. <laughs> oh, yeah. Not quite right upstairs. Um, Josh was too afraid to come in to the back room and learn more information, so I suspect uh, potential uh, heresy and or uh, turn coding. Um, and it begins. <laughs> <laughs> the creepy doctor says, come in the back for a second. Yeah. And then well, like, and okay. and you're just listening, all you can hear <laughs> quirks are uh, t- just, Terry, ex- Terry Tentos is puking his guts yeah. out. No, this apothecary was so frustrating and annoying to talk to, I literally remember, remember nothing. <laughs> it's just one year at the other. Except, um, some of the thing prisoners, I took notes. Yeah, Same. Some of the prisoners were eating rocks, don't know why, or found them in their stomach, we don't know how they got there. Um, and he, ex- a gland grows inside of the people who take the spore, what is being called a drug right now, but I suspect it's not a drug. Um, a, a, you grow a mucusly covered weird gland, which I keep in a jar in my pocket. You extracted one for us. Yeah. What's your character's name? Denver. <laughs> Denver. 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 Let's say Denver. Okay, great. So that brought us to the apothecary. It's like Josh, Jennifer what else can you tell? And so, what's your character's name? What? Holden. Holden. I'm actually writing it down. Somebody made a suggestion that I write it down and stick it right here, which is what I'm going to do. So the apothecary gave some information on some prisoners which had uh, died from spore usage. So we went to go investigate their cells and. Figure out there's kind of a weird cult kind of feel thing going on with a temple of the worm and all this. Yeah, there's all the carvings in the wall of the one prison cell. So, we decided that we were going to go investigate and uh, went deeper into the prison. Uh, our escort did not want to follow us. Mm. Coward. Um, That's but we were able to narratively kidnap him and make it through a hostile guard post. Yep. I, I used logic. I hope. It's true, it didn't make sense, but it worked. So it was after, scary. Yeah, so we, we, we kidnapped that poor man and uh, brought him to the place in the prison where he's terrified that he's going to get murdered. Which is where? 
Forsaken, forsaken territory. The forsaken, forsaken, yeah. Forsaken I couldn't remember the Forsaken. And Forsaken, it's not like the territory is Forsaken. It's Forsaken's the name of the gang. The gang who runs this yeah. part of the prison, yeah. And then we got ambushed. But my question is, I can't remember, who did we get ambushed by? The prisoners, right? Was we don't know. We're about to we find that out. Okay, yeah, that's, yeah, I was thinking about that, that this yeah. whole time. It ended with the ambush, ended with, you, with him forcing one to surrender by dominating them, and that's where we left it off. Yeah. Okay, is there any other details that we, we missed out? That Terry's are, missing a nose. I got so Terry no nose. No. I got 30 seconds surgery. It was great. Yeah, we, um, we've we learned that well, the, 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 the caverns are lit by the glowing uh, purple mushrooms. Yeah. The red ones you can't eat because they'll kill you. Red Eagle's dead. Buddy. Red Eagle's dead. We blew it down. <laughs> um, that's the, the children's rhyme on, on, that, on this yeah, planet. The carvings, that's right. I didn't write them the rhyme. Red Carv- is dead, but green is good. And there's more. I feel like that's, yeah, that's a crap rhyme. That was terrible. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't say it was a good nursery rhyme. It's a prison rhyme for kids. <laughs> it's a prison rhyme. It's doing kids make up better rhymes. Uh, the carvings on that the middle cell, the middle two cells, look like a bunch of worms or caverns leading to a building of some sort. The sanctum. The, well, we don't know that, but we also learned that uh, the, there's well, rumors among the, the uh, rumors among the prison population that there is a. Sanctum, a recluse, or a, a place of safety hidden in the cavern somewhere. Some prisoners go for it and try to get there, but they're never seen again. So a lot because of they are, they're dead. They make because it. they make it, obviously. Yeah, they yeah, obviously make it. Well, they get lost <laughs> in the caverns and die Logic eaten by dictates. the worms. Yeah. Eaten by the dew worms. No, I think they make it. They, be, they be, become friends with the worms. They ride the worms in a great place. Like Dune? Like yeah, Dune. like Dune. Yeah. Where does one buy a worm saddle? No, you make it. Oh, okay. The worm saddle shop. Yeah. Ooh. Luca, what's your character's name? Anton Navon. Anton, that's all I need. Chris, your character's name? Kevin Adkarato. Adkarato. Kevin and Cassandra, right? Remember that I'm rememberable. Yeah. Cassandra and Terry Tentos. That's, yep. Those are just the ones I remembered. Terry Tentos. Denver, Terry. Terry, Holden, Anton, Kevin, Cassandra. I'm going to try to call you by your... Character names. My new name is Terry Tentos. Tentos. Yeah. No nose. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's Terry No Nose. Terry Tentos No Nose. Yep. I hope it just keeps getting longer and longer <laughs> yes. as it goes on. <laughs> that's, how, that's how his father named him. Yeah. It's like how many? Oh, he's got ten toes. Terry Tentos. Like <laughs> his father's name was actually just Mike Eight Toes. So. He's got ten toes. He's okay, so that so that's our first part. We do a recap. I think you I think you hit everything that was important in case somebody. Uh, well, if you missed last episode, go watch last episode. I took notes. But um, it's it's always nice to have a quick recap, especially for the characters here, because for us, a week's past. Maybe you're just like binging these, and so you know exactly what's happened. So we're good. 